Are there? What you want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. So enjoy yourselves. Life is good. Oh, ho. life is good. You hear that, Mr. Pearson? Still reading? Yep. Dutchie's dogs, buddy! I told you he'd show! All right, boys, let's introduce ourselves. Shit! Okay, boy. Yeah. Move out the damn way. Clear! I need the pass. Ain't you caused enough trouble? Huh? Feeding up half the saloon like that? You're killing Tommy up in the street. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. 
I... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride?
Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Time to go, boy. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? We ain't hardly going nowhere at this speed. Yep. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next yep. thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut yeah. down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Yeah. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Yeah.
damn way. Chelonianism. No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and, and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shalonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help!
Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. You little jackass. Sorry, mister. So what are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Yep. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Whoa. What the hell? Right. Move! Move! Wait a minute! You damn lunatic! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. Ah! So, you were saying? I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and, what was his name, H Hester? 
Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. What's the rush? What's your problem? How's everything going? Make it quick or I might run off again. Hey, thanks! Yeah, these new band saws, they You're nervous them. about seeing her, aren't you? Hmm. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Uh. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Someone gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. Mister. Read about real oh, bad oh, I can't work. Can you give me some money? <laughs> I just wanna get a drink. I'm parched. Because it can 
Damn it! I'm done with this son of a bitch. Take him out, boys. Damn it! Yeah, give it to those sons of bitches. Giving up. You were one sorry dead man. Now look. Soon you'll be rotting in the sun. Give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. We're with you on that. Get up.
Okay there. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns. Riders. Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? 
Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Mort. <laughs> looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Hold! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah!
you. Yeah! 
covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Hmm. Here. 
fine new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur! Get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? I think so. Just keep your head down. Let's finish him. That's not Gambo Driscoll! I can see that! We got him, no boys! Here come more of them! Let's go! What took you so long? I don't go down that easy! Got him for ya! Look out, Morgan! Wagon coming down the track! Let's get across! None of you... You wait! Is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
Come on now, boy. 